So today you can see on the market uh, about housing. This is uh, similar to the year of 2008, if anyone's familiar to that. And what happened in 2008 with the housing market. And what the hell all the banks did. It's my first order of the day. It's barely, it's not even 5.30 just yet. But um, we got order number 59, which is a cash order. One and a half miles away. I'll see you over there. Okay, so you can see all over on YouTube right now about how the economy and a crash or bubble or real estate and more feds raising rates and such well anyway foreclosures are rising days on market you can see this stuff everywhere all you have to do is just search it I mean there's tons of this stuff on there about days on market real estate crash and everything the banks and money banks closing how many banks closed already in uh, 2023 so what I want to talk about is how do we address that if you're in a bad situation with the housing or housing market whether you're renting whether you own you got a mortgage how do you proceed with that in your own personal situation so okay let's talk about that all right so how i think i'd like to talk about that is i i want to direct you to maybe some information that might be out there that you could look up right. one of the first people that i saw on youtube that sort of led me to this kind of information was christopher hauser He's got a lot of good information on there. I think it's a really good place to start to even just think about this subject and what you could do. All right, another person I would recommend checking out on YouTube is, um, I think this YouTube channel is called Pro Se Foreclosure. Pro Se something, you know what? I'll just put the uh, name up here. Anyway, he's got a lot of good information. Uh, something that he says all the time is that um, if you download or use any of his paperwork or information, don't go too far back in the videos. Look for the more recent videos because from the old videos, he's modified them according to the results that people show or the results that he's had so they've been modified throughout the way so check out that check out his YouTube channel he's got some pretty interesting stuff there I like the way he thinks about the whole process of um, the courts and the people Just another side note, I said people, um, specifically because a lot of times people will say government or courts or state and the citizens. I'm saying people on purpose because a citizen is a slave. A slave. You are a slave for whatever entity that is so if you're a citizen of the United States you're a slave of the United States which again leads to another another idea of United States United States meaning what what is the United States the United States is a federal corporation if you are a citizen of the United States, you are a citizen under the 14th Amendment of the United States, which, guys, is different from United States of America. United States of America is supposed to be our country. We got the 
we got the Constitution. So anyway, I'll stop there because that's like a whole other subject again on that. I'll try to get back to some of our um, stuff on what you can do in regards to banks and and actually anything like that. Okay. All right, another one to look up in this topic um, on YouTube. His name is they call him the Bad Wolf. Um, so I think I'll just have to again put his name up here or a link or something to the YouTube channel but this guy's also got a really lot of good information so check him out as well I almost forgot actually the very first person that I got introduced to this sort of topic um, the website is 1215.org 1215.org 1215 is the year of the Magna Carta so now again guys any information I share within here before you think it's crazy or I mean actually I mean I don't care if you think it's crazy or not but verify it look it all up all of this stuff is stuff that I've already looked up and studied so you can find so many people who talk about this kind of information and then you can also find a lot of people who haven't actually looked up the information who think it's bullshit so anyway 1215.org check out this uh, check out what they have to offer um, I think the guy's name is Bill or Bob Thornton I don't know where he is now but he's got some old videos here on YouTube I call him the wizard because he has like this long white beard man this guy's got a really lot of good information check out his YouTube channel or check out where you can find that information on this YouTube channel okay sorry about that I had to text um, my friend Darren again Darren shout out to Darren again so he wanted to order a pizza he wanted to come in and make an order but I wasn't sure if I was gonna be here and I want to make sure that he gets a discount you know so I told him to just let me know what it is I'll order it and then he can come and pick it up I'll put in the discount and it's all good so the only thing that he ordered was one medium pizza thin crust Hawaiian luau that's it I thought he was going to order a whole bunch like for his whole family but maybe this guy he greedy he's just gonna order for himself I don't know okay I'll see you over there and let's see what happens with Darren after this I wonder if Darren picked up his order yet and his one medium pizza what is this that's for for himself only freaking guy you know he got a wife and two kids and he ordered one medium pizza for himself Wow all right let's get back to the topic so the next thing and I would suggest you look at your own state's Constitution how many people know that each state has its own constitution? Why is that, guys? Why? We have one constitution for the United States of America, right? But we also have the constitution for each state. So, check it out, read it, and then you'll see why. Well, maybe you won't see why, but you'll definitely learn a lot about 
what it is you can and cannot do just by reading that you'll see so many things that that you might not have expected Okay, you got another one but by the way Darren came in already and picked up his pizza what a greedy guy man he just came and went he didn't say nothing he never let me know nothing just hey I want to order pizza give me discount and then I'm out of there wow so greedy freaking Darren I'm gonna, I'm gonna put his face up over here. Ready? Put his face up there so everybody can see. That is Darren. See his face? I'm just kidding, of course. Darren is not actually greedy. <laughs> he, he's not actually greedy, not at all. I'm just messing with him because I know him so well. He's my friend for a long time. Okay, back to the topic again. The next uh, recommendation I got is, the guy's name is David Strait. He holds like a bunch of seminars. He's got a bunch of talks. You can find them over here on YouTube. Uh, and then they also got a website with like a lot of helpful stuff over there. I don't remember the name of the website, but here it is anyway. So definitely check him out. He's got really a lot of good information. All of this information are all kind of like intertwined. They all, they're all basically the same things. So, okay, that's another good one. Check that one out. All right, I got another one. This is another real good one. So it's Yusef L. Yusef L. So you can find him on YouTube as well. He's got a lot of good information, man. This guy talks fast. He seems super smart. Uh, Yusef L. Check him out over here on YouTube. He got also his own website. I think it's called SBC University. Uh, anyway, I'll put it here because I don't remember. This is all from the top of my head. So, um, anyway, that's a good one. USFL, he's got really a lot of good stuff, man. Check him out. It's all the same information. It's like um, sort of taken from other places like Rob Ryder. That's another good one to check out. A lot of people know Rob Ryder. Check out their names over here.